Yo, what is up everyone, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a reaction as a Lions fan to the 34-20 to loss by the Minnesota Vikings. And I usually don't make videos about sports, about my teams, because I'm a Detroit Tigers fan. I'm a Detroit Lions fan. I'm a Pistons fan. I'm a Red Wings fan. I'm a Michigan Wolverines fan. I don't make videos about my teams. I mean, if you want to have proof of me being a Tigers fan, I literally have a Detroit Tigers mask. You know? My team's below. They just all are horrible. I don't make videos about them because it's just an embarrassment to be a Detroit fan at this po point. I like what the Tigers are doing with AJ Hinch and our new pitching coach um, from Michigan. I like what the Tigers are doing. I also like the Red what the Red Wings are doing. Um... But the Pistons and Lions and Michigan Wolverines are all in no man's land. They don't even know what they're doing at this point as organizations. And the Lions, Pistons, and Wolverines are just an embarrassment. I don't even like to watch them anymore. The Tigers, yes, they're horrible. At least they have a plan. The Red Wings, they have a plan. I don't watch hockey anymore. I haven't watched hockey since Pavel Datsuk retired. Um, But if, you know... the Detroit is a hockey town, and if, you know, the Red Wings start to win again, even though I'm not a big fan of hockey, I'll probably start to watch it again. Um, but I like what the Red Wings are doing. I know what they're doing, even though I'm not watching them. Like, I know what they're doing, like, as of trades and signing people and stuff. I keep up with that, and I listen to the radio and stuff, 97.1 The Ticket. Um, but most of my subscribers uh, don't live in Michigan, because uh, I make gaming videos. But I still want to make videos about my teams because I know I will get a new audience. Probably a lot of people from Michigan might watch this video. And you might think this is just a kid talking bad about his team. I'm 15, but from my 15 years of experience of watching sports in this town, all of our organizations suck besides the Tigers and Red Wings. The Pistons, yes, they have championships in the early 2000s. One, they have one championship in the early 2000s. But... Ever since then, we've just been an embarrassment, especially the number two pick, taking Darko. Obviously, that was before the championship, but that was just a sign of things to come after the championship because we already built that team a year or two before we won that championship, but we started going in the wrong direction when we took Darko. But pretty much where I'm coming or going with this is our team suck, and the Lions are the biggest example of that because we already know the Lions haven't done anything. Yeah, we made the playoffs in 2016. Yeah, we went 9-7 in 2017, but we weren't going anywhere with Jim Caldwell. And we've gone even worse with Matt Patricia. Matty Patty has been the biggest disappointment I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I thought Brad Ausmus as the Tigers manager was a big disappointment. Yeah, it was a disappointment, but... I actually thought like Matt Patricia was a defensive specialist. He, our defense is horrible. The Lions can't do anything without, uh, what's it called? We can't do anything without Trey Flowers on the defensive line. We can't stop the run. We can't even pass rush. Even with Trey Flowers on the defensive line, we can't pass rush at all. So the fact that the Lions even showed up to this game is pretty embarrassing because that was the biggest L I've ever seen in my life. After the Colts game, I was like, maybe the Colts are just really good. But now that I think about it, bro, the Colts aren't that good. They just lost to the Ravens. Yes, the Ravens are a good team, but good teams beat good teams. You know what I'm saying? So if the Colts were that good of a team, they probably would have beat the Ravens. I think the Colts probably would make the playoffs, but they're not They're not a juggernaut. We could easily have beaten them if we were a good team. Uh, the Falcons, they look better than I thought they were. They won today. So maybe that game was a good game from the Lions, but also it was kind of good luck. Like, we got luck right there at the end of the game against the Falcons. So even though we have three wins, we could easily be a one-win team right now. We easily could be a one-win team. We shouldn't have beat the Falcons. And we also... What other game did we win that we shouldn't have won? I don't even know. I mean, there was a few games that we could have won that we should have won. But we could easily be a one-win team. We also could easily be a five-win team. But it doesn't matter because we, we have three wins. We're three and five. We lost to the Minnesota Vikings. Delvin Cook just ran all over us. Stafford threw two interceptions in the second half. And we played good in the first half. I felt like 20 to 10, I feel like um, it was at the end of the half. But it should have been 20 to, I don't even know what it should have been. I think it should have been 10 to 13 because they scored with literally like 20 seconds left in the first half. That's when I pretty much knew the game was going to not go our way when they scored at the end of half with literally like 20 seconds left. 
Uh, Matt Patricia does not use his timeouts in good spots. He should have used his timeout at the end of, or the, like, middle of, or when there was, like, a minute left in half, and the Vikings was, uh, ran the ball, and it was second and five. He should have tried to use timeouts and try to get the ball back. But instead, we didn't use a timeout, and then in the very next play, they throw a 15-yard pass, first down, they start moving the chains, and that's how the Vikings score, because we didn't use a timeout. We should have tried to maybe stop the run, and maybe got the ball back, and maybe we could have gotten a field goal or something to end the half, and it could have been a tie game. But instead... They go up by 10 at the end of half, and we lose. Um, I only watched, like, the first few minutes of the second half because once the Vikings were up by 17, I was pretty much like, I'm done with this game. And I didn't even watch Stafford's two interceptions, so I don't know if it was Stafford's fault or if it was the receiver's fault. But at the end of the day, man, this defense is horrible. Matt Patricia should be fired. I don't care, man, if there's anyone in the Lions organization watching this video. I'm wearing your sweatshirt, bro. So I'm not just a hater. I'm just trying to be honest here. If you keep Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn... <laughs> we have no future with them, so go ahead, keep them all you want. But there's no future. Three and five, six and ten, three, twelve and one. That's not the future of the organization. I mean, actually, for the Lions, it is the future, I guess. But <laughs> if you want, all right, guys. So as I was saying, I'm sorry for the video cutting for a second. Someone came in my room, so I had to end the video for a second. But as I was saying, if the Lions want to have a future, we have to fire Jim Caldwell. We already fired Jim Caldwell. Uh, we have to fire Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn. Because it's just not going in a good direction, man. They keep bringing in their Patriot buddies, and most of them are washed up. Damon Harmon, Jamie Collins. I mean, who, I mean, who else are we going to bring in, bro? Are we going to bring in Randy Moss? He played for the Patriots for a year. Isn't he like 48 years old? We should bring him in, too. Maybe he'll catch a few passes. Like, Danny Amendola, like, come on, bro. Those are not quality players, bro. Yes, Danny Amendola is doing decent. Some of the Patriot players, Trey Flowers, you know, we bring in people in their, like, mid-20s. That's fine. But, like, we're bringing in people that are in their 30s, bro. Trey Flowers is the only exception. Like, we need to start bringing in our own people. We need to make our own system. Stop copying the Patriot way from five years ago, bro. It doesn't work. I don't even know how... Matt Patricia was qualified as a defensive-minded coach. He shouldn't have been a head coach. He should have stayed with the Patriots. And even when he was the uh, Patriots defensive uh, defensive coach, they literally gave up like 40 points in the Super Bowl to the Eagles. Like, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like, he's never been a great defensive-minded person. Like, yes, he was good on the Patriots, but how much of that was actually Matt Patricia? That was probably mostly, you know, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know what to tell you, man. Like... The Patriots have been fine without Matt Patricia, and the Lions have been horrible with him. So I, that's all I have to say. And honestly, in my opinion, the Lions, all they have to do is fire Bob Quinn, fire Matt Patricia. There's no keeping Bob Quinn and firing Patricia, or there's no keeping Patricia and firing Bob Quinn. You just got to get rid of both of them. And if you don't get rid of both of them, then we're just going to keep doing this every year. Talking about us, you know, being 5-11, and 6-10. and 10. And that gets old. It really does. And the, the, with the team we have right now, we're not going to be a horrible team. We're going to be medium the medium the pack to below average. We're not going to be the worst team because that's the Jets and Giants and the teams like that. We're not that bad, but we're bad. So, I mean, it's to the point where it's a waste of time watching this team because we know they're not going to go anywhere, but we also know they're not going to be horrible to get a top pick. Trevor Lawrence and the Lions or Justin Fields would be amazing. And I love Stafford. He's... Probably the second best quarterback we've ever had. Best quarterback I've ever seen us have. Um, obviously, he's probably been playing ever since I was like four years old. But um, there's no future of Stafford. He's in his prime, even though his prime was probably like four years ago. Um, he's not. He's not the future of the organization. So I feel like we should let go of him. And it, it's be. It would be best for Stafford to go to a different team. Don't give them to the Cowboys. I keep hearing Stafford to the Cowboys. The Cowboys have no defense. They have no offensive line. It would be a bad situation for Stafford. Probably even worse than the Lions, which is pretty impossible to say. So in my opinion, we should give Stafford to an actual team. Maybe like the Broncos. Obviously, they're not amazing, but they need a quarterback like every single year. The Broncos always need a quarterback. Um, so maybe the Broncos, the Jags, because, I mean, they're not amazing, but they're building something, I guess. Uh, I don't know, there's teams, like maybe the Colts, because, um, you know, Phillip Rivers, not this year, but I'm talking like maybe next year, Stafford on the Colts. Uh, I don't know, there's teams that, that, that would definitely be interested in Stafford, so we can definitely 
maybe get a second or first round pick for him, which would put us in a good spot for the future. Maybe trading up for a top pick to get Justin Fields or Trevor Lawrence. But, you know, the Lions will not get rid of Stafford. Stafford's the best quarterback of all time. We're never going to get rid of him. He's going to be on the Lions until he retires. That's probably what's going to happen, um, knowing the Lions owner. So, I don't know. I'm not going to keep talking about this. Like I said, the Lions are a disappointment. A lot of the Detroit teams are a disappointment right now for me. And, honestly... All I have to say is the Vikings have no future. They just beat a bad team. A good job, Vikings. Yeah, you yeah, have Delvin Cook. That's what you have going for you. You have Delvin Cook, and your defense isn't good. But you beat the Lions. So good job. You're going to probably go 8-8, eight eight, Vikings. So good job. Um, but yeah, the Vi uh, Vikings beat the Lions 34-20. to That's my reaction. And the Lions suck. Please fire everyone.